Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do, finally, my project pan. So if you don't know what a project pan is, um, it's basically you gather a bunch of products that you want to use up. So you want to hit pan on. If you don't <laughs> know what that means, it's, you know, when you use a makeup product and you go to the bottom, there's a pan underneath. So in the industry it's called hitting pan um so basically i started this project even before i had a youtube channel because i was really obsessed with these videos back in the day which was weird because now i have like five times the amount of <laughs> makeup so apparently i didn't learn anything from those videos but i do want to use up some products um because my collection is getting old. It's gonna be like this is my third year now that I'm doing YouTube. So obviously I've been accumulating more things, but I still have the makeup that I started with. So yeah, there is some things that are getting very old in my collection. And if I don't use them up, they're going to expire or dry up or just not be good anymore. And that gives me anxiety <laughs> because I hate wasting money so yeah I'm doing this project even though I did start this in 2019 I wanted to go over what I already finished and I'm looking over here because I have the list on my computer um, so I want to tell you things that I already used up which you may have seen in some like empties videos but I kept track of it because I just like to see that I use things up and that I'm getting like my money's worth kind of so yeah and then I'll show you the products that I'm working on now more like a vlog style because I don't really want to dig everything up and then put it back because I just organized my collection if you didn't see those I think six videos so yeah um Let's just get started. Well, first I'll tell you, I guess we'll just go in like category and then I'll bring you around, I guess. So for primers though, I can tell you right now, I finished the Glam Glow Glow Starter, which was just like a mini size. Um, I remember really liking it and it smelled really good, but I think that product is very expensive for what it is. So. I didn't feel the need to like run out and buy it when I finished it. Um, so I have two more primers that I want to finish up. These ones are right next to me, so I'll just show you them like this. The first one is my one of my favorites, the Hello, well, it's the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is almost empty. I don't really know how much is left because I can't see anything through the tube but it's probably just like a few uses to be honest it's like very empty so that's in my like everyday drawer right now but because that one's basically almost done I figured I would add another one so I'm adding another mini size yes I'm kind of cheating but um, I do have a lot of minis of things also that I want to get use out of. So this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I think I have, yeah, I did use this one time. If you can, let me just turn that light off. You still can't really see. Yeah, see there's like a little dip in it, but other than that, it's basically full. So after I finish the for Shea Beauty, I'm gonna move on to this one. For foundation, and this includes like BB cream, CC cream, whatever. The one I wanna finish up because it's the oldest in my collection is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. This is actually another one of my favorites, but I haven't been using it because I've been trying a lot of new stuff. Um, and I actually don't know if this still exists. At least in this packaging, I'm not sure. I haven't seen it in a while. But anyway, I have the shade Light. And yeah, this I also can't tell 
but I think it's kind of like around here so this might take a bit longer but I'm gonna try and focus on using this up for concealer the oldest concealer in my collection which looks really weird I hope it's still good it's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer I didn't realize I had used so much of this actually it's like down to here um, the rest is just like product stuck on the side so I feel like there was not a lot of product in here to begin with if that's the case 0.34 fluid ounces I don't know if that's is that normal? Let's see. yeah I guess so anyway I want to get this out of my car this is the shade Fair. I don't remember if I really like this or not. I'll have to use it. So there's that one. And that is the only concealer I have in my project for now because I feel like that's going to take me a long time in itself. Um, for face powder, I want to get rid of this because it's ancient my Aveda Mineral Loose Powder. I used to use this a lot more in the beginning of my channel because I would use it um, like to catch fallout of my eyeshadows because I was always worried like I would get fallout everywhere but I don't really anyway. But I would put this like a pretty like substantial layer under my eyes. Um, and I guess it kind of served to set my concealer too and I just kind of stopped doing that because I don't leave the house so but I want to use this up because it's getting really old and there's I guess like a third of it left this is a huge thing of powder but I think I can do it this is the only powder like I said because that's going to take me a long time. For setting sprays, I finished a full size of MAC Fix Plus. And I did have a hard candy setting spray on my list, but I passed it on because this one, that's an actually funny story. Because I told my friend, oh, I really like this hard candy primer. It was the coconut one, the hydrating one. And she went out and bought it, but she bought some like illuminating version and apparently it's like full of glitter and she put it on before she went on a bike ride and I don't know where she was going but whenever she got there she was like sweating <laughs> and there's like glitter sweat dripping down her face so I felt really bad because she bought it because of me but she bought the wrong one so I gave her the one that I was talking about um, but I remember actually really liking that. But anyway, I don't have it anymore. Um, the one I want to finish up is over there. Okay, so first of all, can we talk about how this is the cutest thing ever? I don't know where to put it, but it's here for now. But anyway, I'll just move this. Um, so you guys haven't seen... Oh, and this is my spring gnome and my Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake candle from last year. Yeah, so I haven't shown you guys what this looks like. This is my, I don't know, bar cart <laughs> slash makeup storage. Um, so in here, this is the setting spray that I want to use up. I got it in a boxy charm a long time ago. It's the Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. So I've already used, I guess, like a quarter of it. So I think I can use it up. There's not much in here. Um, so that's the setting spray on my list. And I'm just keeping it in this spinny thing with some other stuff. Um, what else? For bronzer slash contour, I have two things. So the first one is this. 
okay, apparently it wasn't closed properly. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I've mentioned in my collection video. This is the oldest bronzer in my collection, so I need to use it up. And it already has like a nice, I mean, that's not even a dip. It's more like I just evened out the the bumps that were in it. But I did used to use this a lot, so yeah. Um, this is the bronzer I want to finish up. But I also have added my Fenty Cream Bronzer, this one. Um, this is the shade Butter Biscuit. So I figured I should add, like in every category possible, I should add a cream product because creams are going to expire quicker than powders. So I think that's a smart thing to do. So let me open this with one hand if I can. So, I mean, there's just barely a dip in here, but I just want to get more use out of this and I have been doing pretty well because this was in my shop my stash in the last go round so I was using this pretty consistently so yeah I just have two a powder bronzer and a cream bronzer okay another issue why I'm trying to use up stuff <laughs> is that everything in my collection since I organized it is put in it's like a puzzle like if I take something out I can't fit it back in and I can't add anything else so it's kind of getting to be an issue so I need to also do a declutter but that's a whole other story so this is why I'm keeping my bronzers I don't know how this was even in here I'll have to figure that out later <laughs> so for blush this is what I have, um, this is one thing that I put on my list, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. This one here, I figured I should put a mini because blush is not something I ever use up, so I think this will be more, oh, that looks really weird, hello. <laughs> this will be more like encouraging to me than to try and pan a full blush so there's this one also it's pretty old um and the other one i added again a cream product is this one is this my tower 28 magic hour blush because it's a cream product and I did notice in when I was doing my collection video that there's like oh, I can't open this there's like beads of something forming on the top of this and that concerns me because this is not even old and yeah if it's already going bad I'm gonna be kind of upset because I really actually like this blush I do find my skin absorbs it a bit quick, but I really like the shade and the formula otherwise. So yeah, try and get this one, um, get as much use out of it as I can. Uh, for highlighters, this is my like everyday drawer, by the way, which I can show you a bit right now. Um, for highlighter, I have this mini Marc Jacobs do you do drops this one is the shade oh the shade is do you i think okay it's not wanting to focus but as you can see i did use quite a bit of this i mean it's a mini right so even just one pump is going to look like you used a lot of it but that's kind of why i put it in this project so i want to use this up and i think it'll be a really nice shade um, for like spring and summer too but I also put a powder highlighter oh that one's in my shop my stash these are the products that were in okay ignore this mess here weights and a 
step and a workout ball because <laughs> I also work out in this room so yeah it's kind of crowded but um what was I doing oh yes this my Becca Opal I want to use this up because it's quite old it's a mini and I've used a lot of it already I mean considering like compared to other products in my collection I think I can get this one fairly um, used so yeah by the way did you guys see Becca is going out of business that is so weird to me but anyway there's that so I have another category that's more like made up <laughs> I put eye primer slash eye cream as a category because I want to use up this Tatcha the Pearl um, in Moonlight. You guys know like I complain about this product often. Um, it's just like something that I bought because I thought I would really use it often but I'm finding it hard to fit it into my routine because it's not really it's not like an eye cream you would use as your skincare because it's tinted but then also I just end up going in with concealer and I forget to use this but anyway I'm trying to use this up this is how much I've used so far not much at all but I think if I put it in this project, I'll remember to keep using it. And I actually do like it when I do remember to use it. It's just like an extra step that I don't really care about. But anyway, there's that. Um, that thing is also like 60 bucks. So <laughs> yeah, it really annoys me that I don't use it. Um, the other thing is my Urban Decay primer potion the original one this is just old and yeah I just want to use it up because I'm I don't know like if it's getting dry or if I just need to like work this too more because when I take the applicator out there's like not a lot of product on it anymore but I don't think it's because I used it because I used so little amount of this and for like months I actually forgot about it because it was in it was at my condo so yeah I don't know what's up with that but I'm trying to use this up then I got like super ambitious and I put two eyeshadow palettes <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna pan an eyeshadow palette but let me show you where did I even put those so the oldest palette in my collection is this one the Too Faced chocolate bar I don't have any pans in it so far but I definitely just need to use this more uh, and I really do like it I have a video on my channel um, using this and I really liked the look that I came up with so yeah and it's a nice like everyday palette I feel and the other palette, like the second oldest one, by the way, this is my ABH um, collection and my Sailor Moon Pat McGrath. And this is a really cute, oh, you can't even see, a really cute Valentine that my cousin sent me in the mail. You guac my world. And I'm obsessed, so I just keep it on my desk here but anyway I was showing you this this is the palette that I want to get more use out of because I've been seeing um, people say that like other people that have had this palette the modern renaissance since it basically since it came out they're saying that the formula has changed and that's consider that's concerning to me so <laughs> This is what mine looks like. It's really not that used. Not that I think I'm going to pan these palettes. Maybe I'll pan like one shade in them 
but it's just like something to encourage me to focus on certain products that are getting old basically. I did add eye toppers because after going through my eye topper collection, which you can't see at all. So after going through my eye topper collection, I realized a lot of them are really old and getting dry. So I put my benefit one where is it? Be careful. Oh god. This one here, my benefit. I don't remember. Oh, creaseless cream shadow liner in RSVP. So I can use the well, oh, I almost dropped it. Um, I'll use this as a base probably, um, at least for as long as I can. I mean, there is a pretty good dip in here, but then, yeah, depending on like if it dries up or if the formula isn't good anymore, I might just get rid of this, but it's in here for now. The next category is eyeliners, and those are all kept in this thing here. Some of these are brow pencils, but um, they're like divided. Uh, I had put two liquid liners, but one of them already dried up like the last time I tried to use it. So I think it's in my empties, but the other one is this one. Yeah. This Tarte So Fine micro liner. This is a liquid liner. Okay, maybe doing this vlog style was a bad idea. <laughs> this is like the tiniest pen liner you've ever seen. Um, it might be dry. If it is, then I'll just get rid of it, but I want to try and use this as much as I can. So I actually had two categories, one liquid liner and then one like pencil liner. For the pencil liner, I had put the Marc Jacobs Blacker, but I actually can't find that. So I don't know if maybe it already dried up, so I got rid of it. But I also put this one, which is why it's in my everyday drawer to remind me. This Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Lucky. It's like a nice coppery shade. So I just want to get rid of this because it's really old. And, and because it's already a small size, I think that won't be too difficult. Then for mascara, um, I finished the Revlon I forget what it was called, a Revlon mascara. You would have seen in like my old videos. I finished that one. I finished the MAC Oat and Naughty. It's in my empties because it dried up. I finished the Tarte Lash Paint, which I really liked. The Milk Kush mascara is in my empties because it's officially done. Like it's just too dry to use anymore. It's flaky and rubs everywhere so yeah so the only one left on this list is this it cosmetics superhero i actually really like this but this tube is getting old it's getting a bit dry so i'm gonna try and use it up um as much as i can before getting rid of it but yeah so i actually just have this one mascara left for brows, this is ambitious, but I put this Benefit Cabral in the list because it's a cream product, it's getting old, and I would like to use it. I really liked it at first, but I find like when I see it in videos, my eyebrows look really warm, like red tone almost. So I don't love the shade, it's the shade 3, but yeah, I'm just trying to get as much use as possible. This actually came from Influencer, so I didn't actually buy it, but yeah, I'd still like to use it up. Um, but I also 
because I don't use this product every day, I also added my Essence Make Me Brow. Also don't love the shade of this, but I can still get more use out of it. Um, this one is the shade 3 Soft Brownie Brows. So I probably should just stop getting brow products in the shade 3 because it's usually like the mid-tone shade but it's always like warm leaning so I should just go with 4 I think going forward <laughs> but yeah so this one and then I finished my hourglass fiber brow gel which I miss but it's very expensive and I don't really I don't really know what's going on with hourglass as a brand so I don't even know if I want to repurchase it anymore. But anyway, I finished that. It was my favorite. I finished the Benefit Bravo, which is like a primer for your brows. And the other thing is this Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel. Um, this I'm using like every time I do my brows, so it might go quickly. I don't love the brush, but. Yeah, I don't like hate it, so I'll just keep using that. For lip liners, I have two in here. I have the Aveda lip liner in Foxglove. It's like a nice, like, rosy nude kind of. And another Aveda liner. This one's more like a deeper red shade. Trying to get this to focus there. This is the shade Tarragona. So these I'm trying to use up because they're very like creamy um, and they're more like natural, I guess. I don't even know if that's true anymore because these are really old and now there's like a lot of natural products on the market. But anyway, these are some products some lip liners that I would like to use up and I think the colors aren't so like weird that I won't use them like these can go with a lot of different shades so yeah we'll see how much use I get out of that so I have a category for like lip bullets like cream lipsticks and again it's Aveda products because <laughs> those are like my oldest products in my collection I don't, I used to work at Aveda, in case you didn't know, I've mentioned it before. Uh, but even after like I stopped working there, I would buy a lot of their makeup because like this was before I knew anything about makeup and I just wanted some really simple like natural products so I would get them there. So I have a lot of Aveda lipsticks that are getting old. So this lip tray here, you haven't even seen because even though my lip product video was an hour and like 40 minutes or something ridiculous, I actually forgot this whole tray. <laughs> so it would have been even longer. But um, the one, the, I have seven. These are my Veda lipsticks. But the one that's in my project is this one, Cherry Bud. And this is why because I think I can finish this since it's already this low. The Aveda lipsticks are really creamy and like pigmented and nice on the lips. No one talks about them on YouTube because Aveda is not really like a brand you think when you think makeup, but they do have really good lip products, I must admit, but I think I can finish this. We'll see. It's not really a spring summer shade though. I don't know. So I have that one. And then I was like, well, I better add a nude lipstick also because that's not a shade I'm gonna wear every day. So this is it here. So I'm adding this, Too Faced Sex on the Peach. And this one is very cheaty because that's how much product is in this whole bullet. Isn't that crazy? And this was not a sample. This was like, this came in a Sephora Favorites set. Like, 
mine is so tiny. I think it's funny how they went through the trouble of actually like stamping the peaches on such a tiny little <laughs> lipstick. It's so cute. But yeah, I think I can use this up. So there's that one. And also for liquid lipsticks, I chose minis because I don't wear liquid lipstick very often. So one of them is this mini Sephora cream lip stain in the shade 40. It's like a, a nude, I guess, like a grazy nude. And the other one, I think is this one, the red. Also, I think this is a cream lip stain. Yeah, also a cream lip stain in the shade 01, which is like a true red shade. I just think this is more like the size of something that I might pan. We'll see. For lip gloss, we're back up here. I actually had two, but um, one of them was the Marc Jacobs Pretty Thing. And it was a lip gloss I was keeping in my purse. And I smelled it yesterday. And it smelled like mustard. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it expired. It was really old. And it was almost empty, to be honest. It was a mini size, so that's gone in my empties bag. But the other one is this Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is the shade Pure Peach. I also have a full size in Papadome Peach, but I think I won't pan that for sure. So I added this mini one because it's pretty old. It's still cute. And yeah, I like this formula. And then the last category of makeup, well, I guess it's more skincare, but anyway, is lip balm. And for lip balm, I had finished my Aveda lip balm. So I added this one, my Tarte Quench. Um, this is almost done. I'll show you. That's all that's left. But this is one of my favorites um, in my whole collection. But I also have this one, which I'm trying to use up first. The Revlon Kiss um, Balm in Tropical Coconut. And this has SPF 20, so I use this more often. This used to be like my everyday lip balm I would put on um, on the way to work, but now I work at home. <laughs> but yeah, I still try to put this one on as often as I can. It's basically done. That's all that's left. And actually, half of that is the plastic. So this has like probably like a week's worth of use left, and then it will be in my empties. And then I'll probably add another lip balm because this one is tinted. So I'm not going to use that like every day or when I'm doing my makeup and I want to put another lip product on. So I'll add like another clear lip balm at some point. But that's that for now. So the rest is like body care. So we'll go back to filming normally and my hand hurts. So, okay. So let's, I did put two nail products on this list. Oh, because I didn't say at the beginning, this is like um, a full face project pen. It's more like a full body project pen because I have hair care and nail polish and all that stuff. So I have two nail products. They're both not with me, like they're at my condo. So I'll have to get them at some point. But I have the Sally Hansen Diamond Shine, which is like a nail, it's supposed to be nail hardener, just like a clear um, nail polish. And the other one is a color nail polish by Vera Moda. 
an icy morning. It's like a turquoise kind of shade. Um, yeah. I guess I'm doing my nails now myself because they're totally ruined from doing too much dip powder and the nail salon was like open and it was closed and it was open and I don't know what's going on anymore so I'll probably just do that myself anyway and that's going to be a nice shade for spring summer I don't know if it still exists if it does I'll try to link it below um oh I also have a category for fragrance two things are just like perfume samples which I will show you. So I actually have like a collection of perfume samples. Um, oh, these are my own products that I make. But these are the fragrances. So I put Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I really like. And actually I, was, I wore it when I went to my mom's and she loved it so much she went and bought the full size. So that's how much people like that one. But um, I just have like the little sample guy. Let me try and find it. This one. So that's how much I have left. Pretty sure I can finish this. I'm just, I also have a Bath and Body Works frosted coconut spray that I got for Christmas. And I feel like that's something I should be using up now because it's still winter. So yeah but if i really put my mind to it like this would be done very quickly so i also added the black opium it's eve sailoran right yeah this one here i forget what this smells like but i think i like it so yeah there's that one um and then i have a Oh, I finished one thing. I finished my Ulta body mist. It was like grapefruit or something. Um, that's like totally empty. That's in my empties. So I also added my body mist from Airy. It's um, like a tropical scent. So I think I'll use it, you know, in the summer more. But that one's also like less than half done, so that should be okay. And I'll show you all these products like when I do an update. Um, for body products, I have an Aveda Stress Fix, which is like a lavender cream that I want to finish up. Uh, I finished the Aveeno Skin Relief, um, which I was using because I was having like a lot of eczema back in the day. Um, and it's really good for like itchy skin um, and I also added the Avon foot cream because my feet are so dry I need a pedicure desperately um, so yeah I'm trying to use that up it's almost done um, for skincare I finished a lot of things I finished the pixie glow mist that's in my empties I finished a small size of Sunday, Sunday Riley CEO. I passed on a small size of the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro. It's the purple cream. Um, that one, it breaks me out. I'm pretty sure because that was the second time I was trying it and it also broke me out. So I passed that on to my mom. Um, I finished a full size of my favorite Belief Moisture Balm. I'm actually on to another full size of that one. Oh, and then I was trying to finish up two other things. So one of them I think I'm just going to have to consider done. It's this mini milk makeup cooling water. I think it's expired to be honest because if you can see like the pro the tube like is kind of dried up and it like shrunk in the packaging. I've just had this for way too long, but I have been using it. But it's just I don't think this is the this is an accurate representation of the product because it's not what it should be. It's supposed to be like a serumy kind of thing, like when you apply it, but it feels like dry. So, I don't know. 
it's probably useless, but I'm still putting it on my face. <laughs> um, so I have that. And the other thing was this Sephora Coconut Water Hydrating Mist. If you can see, it's at the bottom of the label. So that's going to be done very soon. And I'm kind of sad because I really like this and they don't make it anymore. And then for hair products, that's the last one. Yeah, for hair products. I want to finish my Aveda dry shampoo, Shampure dry shampoo. It's really interesting because it's not like an aerosol. It's a powder dry shampoo, but I really like it. I finished the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. I did not like that one. Um, it was just a travel size. Um, and I also have another Aveda product. The Brilliant Finishing Gloss that I want to use up. It's just like a serum you put on like the ends of your hair. And the Briogeo Rizarco Milk, which is um, a leave-in conditioner. Like a, I use it as a detangler. And that's almost done too. So I think I've finished a lot of things. More than I thought I would have. It's just the makeup ones that are really um, going to be a challenge, but I just like to have this as a reference to make sure that I am using products up and things that are older or that will expire more quickly than other things in my collection. So yeah, I'll do updates of this. Um, I haven't really decided when. I mean, it's March when I'm filming this, so, I mean, it has to be in a few months, I guess. But yeah, um, if you're also doing a project pen, let me know. And I will, I'm going to tag this full face rolling project pen. So if you want to tag yourself and do your own, um, feel free to do that too. And I'll try and link everything below that I talked about because I, some things I just don't have with me right now. So yeah. Um, but I think that's it. And now that I've done this video, I can do my shot my stash for March, which I'm very excited about because I'm sick of some things that are in there and I am going to declutter a lot, I feel. I mean, a lot, I mean, in my terms, which isn't that much, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope this style wasn't too like choppy and weird. I guess I'll see when I edit it. But if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!